Hello, this is Colin Keane. Today we're gonna to be doing tracer blinking. It's um the full blink, you cannot blink through walls, and there is a cooldown on it. Um that's three a three thing cooldown like tracers. So let's get into it. So this is gonna be the code we're making today. It's pretty basic. Um for what you get out of it, it's actually pretty uh, quick. I made this in about half an hour. I should be able to do it in, well, in about 10 minutes, so. So first you wanna go to project settings, go input, action map mapping, add new map, and let's just call this um, link. And then you want to choose your two mouse buttons for blinking. In the game, it's right mouse button and shift. You can also just have uh, one mouse, I mean one button, but because in the game you have two, I'm just going to do two. So right mouse button and left shift for blink. So if we go first person character, um, we're going to set the variables first. So you're going to ma want to make two variables, one called on cooldown. And the other one named tracer count down. And on cooldown is going to be a um, boolean. Tracer countdown is a integer. And you're actually going to need one more called test, or just name it anything really. It's it's going to be used inside the blink. Um, I guess is blinking will work. I'm just going to be calling it test for this uh, this tutorial. So first, what we want to do is you want to get a tick, which I have right here, and then you're gonna want to um, add two branches. So that's one branch, and then on the false statement, you want another branch. Okay, and then just align these how you want it. Um, compile it, and then change tracer count down to three, change on cooldown to false, and change ch test to true. Okay, and then next, what you're going to want to do is grab on cooldown, get it, and put that in the first branch. Grab tracer countdown, get it, and then use the... Sorry, I'm bad with math quickly. Okay. Use the arrow that points towards the tracer countdown, like that. The less than sign. Make it by three. Um, put that wherever you want. And that is the second branch. And on this one, you're going to want to drag out true and set, um, set all in cooldown to true. So now, um, on event tick, if the cooldown is false and you have less than three tracer blinks, then you will set the cooldown to true. So we now initiate the cooldown. From there, you want to add a timeline. This also works with the delay, but um, if you want UI elements, this will help a lot. This is the cooldown. And then play from start, do not use play. It's a common mistake. And then load in that. Add in a float track, call it anything you want. Um, cool down. And then add in two keys. Make the second key value of zero at time of five. And the first key a value of five at a time of zero. So now we have, you can use these buttons to auto align the uh, scale. So now we have this linear digression. And when it is finished, what's going to happen is um, it uh, sends out a, uh, a node, essentially. What you want to do with that is you want to get the tracer countdown again. Um, you want to add one. And then on then get set tracer countdown. Combine these two together. And once this is finished, you set the tracer countdown to tracer countdown plus one. Um, so 
that's that so far. And then because the cooldown is finished, you set cooldown to false. So what I have so far is event tick to a branch, to another branch, to set cooldown to true, to a cooldown timeline, which also works with the three second delay or a five second delay. Um, and then you add the tracer to countdown plus one to the set tracer countdown. And then you set the uh, cooldown back to false. Okay, so that's the beginning of everything. You can call this cooldown. So that's the first segment of um, the code. Let's just put that in a little bit more. Okay, so we have that now. Well, next, what we have to do, I'm just going to delete this, is go back to project settings. So you have this blink action mapping, or whatever you called it. I called it blink. So you can type in blink, and now I have the action map. And what I want to do is when it is pressed, I want to make a branch. Actually, wait one second. Okay, when it is pressed, I want two more branches again. Branch into branch. And the first branch will check if you have a tracer countdown. So if this is equal to zero, and this is equal to zero, then this won't work. But if it isn't equal to zero, you can still um, blink. So from there, you want to add the test variable that we made. Put that as the second condition. And right after this condition, if this fires off as true, then you want to set it to false. Because we have initiated the uh, the test, um, not the test, but the blink. And now, we want to launch the character forward. If you look actually in the game, you do not instantly go to your uh, next position. You actually have about uh, two frames or so where you're going through the um, through the uh, blink forward. So you want to add that. You also want to add. We're going to do the math later. You want to add a delay and then a stop movement immediately. So add a delay. The Default is too slow, so you want to go at 0 0.02. And when it's completed, you want to stop the character's movement completely. Immediately, I mean. Which is actually a really cool note I didn't know about until I made this uh, this tracer blink. So you have that so far. Now you need to choose how you're launching the character. And how you do that is you get the actor forward vector. So get actor forward vector. And you want to multiply this by a, I think a float will work, let me check. Yeah, multiply by a float. And because we are not just traveling 400 meters instantly, we're actually going off of like a, um, I think a centimeter per second system, you're gonna to wanna to launch the character a lot further than you think. So I'm launching the character about 25,000, I think centimeters per second. So you just want to multiply by 25,000. Get actor forward vector to multiply into the launch character. So actually right now, this will work. If you right click, you will go forward once because test is set to false. So next, what was this here? So I'm just reading. Okay, so next we're going to want to set test to um, true, I believe. Yes, you want to set test to true next. So now you can blink as many times as you want, which is nice, but there's nothing stopping you from blinking. Which um, isn't really what you want because, well, you know. You can just blink infinite amount of times, and you can't do that in the game. So next, what you want to add is a 
you want to set the tracer cooldown countdown. We want to set it to is we want to set the current tracer countdown. You want to subtract one. Um, I think this works. The decrement. Int. Yeah. So you just want to decrement it. Oh no. No, don't use decrement. You can if you want. It's actually really cool. But um, you have to put it into your system. I don't feel like doing that. Instead, what you want is you just want to uh, go minus. So integer minus integer and have it at one. Then set the the uh, tracer countdown to tracer countdown minus one. So now that is actually everything you have to do. Let's call this the blink. Now we'll test it out. So first of all, you can right click and you blink. And then you can also right click three times or two times, there, three times. But I cannot right click anymore. And then now I can after five seconds. So every single time you have to wait five, every single time you have to wait five seconds before your next blink. So if you wait 15 seconds, which will take a tiny bit, um, that was 10 seconds. You can blink three times. Um, yeah. So that's everything for the tracer blink. I may do the the teleport backwards thing later for your character like goes back in time. I just don't know how to do that yet. Um, especially if you want nothing else to go back in time. You only want your character. So yeah. Thank you all for watching, and uh, as always, have a good game.